Hi guys, today I quickly just want to talk about two types of bullets that I'm going to be testing. On the left you can see my normal load which I normally use. It's a, a Burger Classic Hunter 130 grain. It's a VLD type of hunting bullet and I shoot it out of my 270 that you have seen in my previous videos. The two bullets of interest for today is the one in the middle and the one to the right. Namely, the one in the middle is a 100 grain monolithic bullet and the one on the right is a 120 grain monolithic bullet as well. The difference being between them, the one in the middle is a bullet that is used or designed um, to be more streamlined hence it is more efficient when you have to shoot long range. The one on the right however has a flat nose design which is more ideal to use in bushveld hunting conditions. It is a unique South African design as a monolithic bullet although monolithic bullets are common all over the world but this has no hollow point type of design that expands upon impact. Instead the bullet has a type of a shoulder which can be seen over here um, which creates a shock wave when it hits the animal. Hence it raptures the organs and um, kills the animal humane. There we go. That's the 100, and 100 grain bullet and then the 120 grain bullet looks like that. So we are going to head out to the range today and we are going to shoot some 100 meter groups, probably 5 shot And then this is just a comparison between the 100 grain, 120 grain Bushveld point and then the Burger 130 grain classic. Hi guys. Okay, so I'm back from the shooting range and we've got some results. I'm going to explain what I did and we'll go through each group that I shot. So in the, on the top left, I shot a control group using my Burger 130 grain load. What's interesting about this group is um, these three that lie close to each other were shot without using the hair trigger on my rifle. As soon as I started using the hair trigger, the two shots at the bottom here resulted from that. So I tried to shoot the rest of the groups just using a standard trigger. I will be doing a review shortly to explain my shooting setup and by showing you um, the hair trigger and the normal trigger and so on. So the monolithic bullets I was testing are the four groups down below. Um, the top two groups were the 120 grain flat nose bullets and then the bottom two groups were the 100 grain um, bullets, the uh, pointed bullets. Um, the all of them five were shots. okay-ish I guess. Um, I guess I can do further load development with these but since they were free samples I don't think I will carry on using I measured all of the groups in terms of minutes of angle so I measured the furthest two points between all five shots and then what I also did was I see there are some nice three shot groupings so I went ahead and I measured the three shot groupings as well um, over here like this one you can see it's 0 0.277 MOA um, I think the rifle is capable of shooting better if you tune the load because from previous experience I know that this rifle does not struggle to shoot off minute of angle. Just to prove this point, this is uh, three shot groupings that I shot using my Berger 130 grain loads and as you can see uh, we're averaging just about half an MOA. Um, the bottom loads were developed using quick load um, by the inventor of these monolithic bullets 
as you can see over here so I literally just loaded the bullets according to his instructions that any rifle can use this load should however be safe for any rifle to use because as I believe they do sell this as a commercially loaded I should rifle. also just note that this top group uh, it was shot as a control group because I started shooting with a clean barrel so this aim or the aim of this exercise was to file the barrel up to see that the rifle will group before going to the new uh, monolithic bullets and then if you just want to compare the bullets and have a look at them again that's the 120 grain bullet and then this is the 100 grain bullet that we shot what's interesting about um, the, the shape of the hole that they make the shoulder that I spoke about earlier which is over here acts like a paper punch so instead of tearing a hole through the paper like the burgers they actually punch a neat little round hole through the here is just another close up of the bullet and here you can get a better idea of the shoulder that I spoke about earlier and now we can see um, that is the shoulder that creates the shock wave within the animal um, that is supposed to humanely kill it um, so this bullet works on a different principle than your um, modern uh, your conventional lead based bullets in the fact that they don't rely upon expansion to kill the animal also these ridges are quite interesting because it acts as a, a type of a seal you'll see that the, the Barnes bullets which are also monolithic bullets work on a similar principle and it is to reduce gases passing the physical bullet while it's traveling down the barrel which helps reduce um, barrel erosion due to gas leak. Similarly you can see it with a 100 grain bullet as well um, it's got a design very similar to the 120 grain flat nose um, same as um, ridge design on the side but instead of a flat nose it's got this um, pointed nose which does I assume um, improve aerodynamics. One other thing that I saw which I'd like to mention is um, the seating depth of this bullet. Um, like I said I worked with a pre-specified length um, which was developed by the designer of the bullet but if you have a look at the comparison I have here um, the bullet is seated quite deep into the case um, which almost results in a compressed load but not completely alright I think that's that for today I think I've said everything I wanted to say um, just a general overview and impressions I think it's a good product I have not physically um, shot an animal with it yet so I can't tell you about its performance in terms of humane killing but I've read good reviews about it um, I hope to bring you some more videos in the future until next time